people. We are direct descendants from the sun, rose out of broken glass and debris from riots in New York City, learned to celebrate our indigenous and African roots. We worship both the rain and the rainbow. My people, we think with our hearts before our heads and speak with both tongue and hand, strong embraces, fly handshakes, and gentle pats. Incorporate blessings into everyday greetings and salutations. Are taught to be proud of where we've come and learn to have much pride in who we are and choose to love. Learn the hustle, raise the strong values, and preach that family is everything. And so family cannot accept the one thing that you cannot change. Forced to translate and expand its definition, we quickly learn to empathize with strangers, grow to become accustomed to never mention any boyfriends and lovers, attend family functions alone, and dodge questions about who we are dating. Swear that we'll never forgive past pains. Swear that we'll never forgive their hard-headedness. Until there are tragic moments like these where we are tested to try, pick up the pieces of broken relationships. Remember that value in life is fully guaranteed. Learn to call someone and say, I love you. Learn to look yourself in the mirror and say, I love you and mean it. My people, we find sanctuary on the dance floor, the only place where we feel really safe and free, where drug beats send our bodies into a trance, causing random strangers to temporarily fall in love, get off their seats and dance, and when the moment comes to an end, we eat our entire weight in pizzas and tacos in order to help recover our strength from this cardio workout. This is a typical ritual celebrated by all gay men who force themselves to starve all day in order to fit into that super tight team that <laughs> only come off when that right song plays, who feel the need to give the audience such a strong performance. So, of course, come bar closed, bitches are hungry. But sadly, these victims were never given the chance to end their night life. They hungered for something else, something more. There was no end of the night pictures with new friends, no new numbers exchanged with empty promises to meet up the following day. Instead, their night ended in tears. Blood and bodies covered the dance floor that was once your church. Lovers laid side by side, family members forced to fear the worst as bullets and cell phone rings replaced the drum beats. Dancing gave way to running, and kissing gave way to screaming, and the only Flirting that happened late that night was with death. You tried taking away my pride that night and replaced it with fear, but you forgot that I read more than just one flag, all beautiful in color and design, symbols of my strength and history. These flags represent a people, my people who came together that night, regardless of religion and creed, and stood together in solidarity. My people. We are no strangers to war, but we are also the real creators of true love. So before your hearts fill up with anger, let's just take another moment to remember Eddie's justice, whose last text was not filled with hate, but rather love for his mother. My people, let's stand together as people. Thank you.